So there are a couple tech products that come out every so often that I get really stoked to test. This is one of them. And what a lot of you don't know, I used to be a personal trainer before all of this social media stuff. And even before that, I used to play pro soccer for PSV Eindhoven, but that is another lifetime ago. That is another story. In general, I just like to stay in shape. I like to be fit. I like to be active. I love to do activities. So that's why I'm super stoked to check out this. This is the Hypershell X Ultra. This is the world's first consumer grade exoskeleton certified by SGS. So essentially for that certification, it's done by a Swiss company. So that means all the stuff that they are claiming on say their website, all of the tech specs that we go through, those aren't just these fancy claims that I feel so many tech companies can just kind of spew and say, a lot of them are actually certified, hence obviously the name. So essentially how this works, it wraps around your waist, kind of like a belt. So it kind of clips into the front and these carbon fiber rods run down your quad and you can see that I've got them pretty much just like strapped in. You can use them with or without pants and you can obviously tighten them up right here. So the actual build of this, it's made out of very like lightweight material and you can see for an exoskeleton, it looks super, super sleek, very modern. These rods, like I mentioned, are made out of carbon fiber. On the back, this is made out of a titanium alloy. That's actually where the battery pack lives. And the overall like weight of it is around like 1.8 kilograms. And when we initially unbox it, it comes with a travel case. So when you're not using it, it's easy enough to kind of store. You can bring it with you for all of your activities. We'll be testing this out a lot more like outside where I actually can run with it. But yeah, one of the most minimal exoskeletons that I've seen. And essentially what this does, it provides like hip flexion. So for any of you like biomechanic fans, as I'm actually doing this, it's activating. This kind of drives your knee upwards and forwards to give you that extra hip flexion. So it makes the running, walking, or even like cycling motion, anything where you're driving your knee upwards, that hip flexion, a lot easier. So for the actual battery tech, it has 5,000 milliamps. You can actually swap out these battery modules uh, on their own. The X Ultra has the thousand watt peak output. So for this one, you get 30 kilometers per charge in its eco mode. And when you switch it to hyper mode, which we'll get to the different modes in a second, you get up to six kilometers. So you can actually see where all the controls are just on the right hand side. So like my left, it sits like right on your hip here. That's how you can activate through the different modes. So the Ultra has 12 different modes you can choose from, stuff like running, cycling, there's even a snow mode, and there's even this fitness mode, which essentially gives you resistance. So when you change it to that, you're almost like Goku when you're working at, you know how he has like those weighted clothes and he's like all into like Super Saiyan mode. This will actually resist your leg movement to give you more of a workout. So we'll test that out. And as you cycle through the different modes, it gives you haptic feedback to know which type of mode that you're in. And there's also an app that you can use and kind of plug into to see what you're doing. But that's enough of like the tech specs. Let's get to outside and see if I can go uh, full Super Saiyan mode. <laughs> So we're kind of by one of my uh, favorite trails right now, hence uh, I'm wearing my trail shirt. And that's what kind of the hyper shell is for, for exploring more, for getting outside more, whether you're running, whether you're hiking, whether you're doing like those long distance bikes, we're gonna kind of walk through, I'll give you like my thoughts on it. And right now I have it set to its first mode, like the eco mode. So it's helping like assist with the initial walk. And to give you the sensation of what it feels like, it's essentially just driving my foot forward, if I were to like exaggerate its motion, it would almost be like I'm doing a high knee march, but it's giving me that assisted walk. And essentially what this is doing is lowering my exertion rate. So when I'm walking, it lowers it by 20%. When I'm cycling up to 39%, and that will reduce my heart rate by 42%. So you can theoretically run, cycle, walk, hike, further. And I can either choose to change to the different modes via this little selector, like I said, or I can use the app. So earlier before we came here, we were doing some sprints to really test it. We were getting up to like pretty high speeds. I want to say like over 30 kilometers an hour. 31, 31. That's impossible. Beat it. It really helps give you that extra assist or when I want to take it easy, I can up the assistance to more so I can kind of just relax, maybe regain some of my strength, some of my energy so I can just go for further distances. And I was initially worried when I got this, how this would like impact like my stride or kind of restrict my movement. But with those initial sprints that kind of completely went out the window, I'm able to do pretty much everything like gross motor movements. I'm able to squat. I'm able to move around. What this probably isn't for is like very fine motor skills. Like say like you're playing a sport, Andres, I love you, bro. This is not used 
to play soccer, like in no way. This is really meant for those repetitive movements when you're walking long distances, when you're hiking, etc. Anything that you're getting a lot of like hip flexion in. So looking at the battery right now, we've walked like close to five, six kilometers still. I'm getting like four bars. When I mentioned you can get up to 30 kilometers on say like a walk or like on eco mode. Obviously when you're sprinting, when you're trying to be like, ah, I'll try to go as fast as you can that reduces the amount. I think you get around six kilometers in the hyper mode, and I know that it's really nice weather right now for fall, but as it gets colder, this actually works in temperatures like up to minus 20, which I think is legit. So you can use it even, say you're climbing a mountain, ain't no mountains here where I am near Toronto. Ontario is like super flat, but if you use this to climb wherever you live with mountains, you can do it. All right, to the next pit stop. One cool thing that I was thinking about is the extra knee protection. Obviously I geek out about this, but uh, providing that extra stability, especially when you're coming down, say like a hill. And obviously the big thing with any sort of assistance that helps with that uh, extra wear and tear. So if you are putting on lots of miles, lots of kilometers when you walk, this will just help with the overall wear and tear with excessive use. So just uh, at a little rest break right now, and I'm pulling up some of these stats on the app. So you can actually see we've climbed up to 82 feet in elevation as an example, and we currently have 7.42 miles of range left, which is pretty impressive. And I mentioned that you can obviously change some of the modes or the different selections through the actual like side, but within the app, you can really like fine tune how much assistance you want and obviously change those modes. So like I said, with the Ultra X, you get 12 different modes. Two of those are new. One is snow mode and the other one is dune mode. So imagine walking through a thick like sand, which I think is really cool. But one of the coolest modes is actually called fitness mode. So that will actually reverse the motors. And instead of giving you assistance, it will give you resistance when you're trying to actually use it. So as an example, so you can see right here. So uh, enable fitness experimentation. I'm just gonna hit okay. I'm gonna go all the way. It's already at 100%. And now, <laughs> when I'm walking, this makes it feel like I'm walking through some sort of like quicksand. It actually is engaging more muscles and I'm working harder to push my legs through. So imagine getting a bit of a workout now when I'm trying to use this. We reached uh, the end of the trail here. And what's really cool about this one, I'm kind of resting my uh, shoulders on the carbon fiber here. So lightweight, but it's still super sturdy. It is held up. I really put it through its paces, which was cool. Literally sprinted as fast as I could. This is something really cool. One of those pieces of tech that you actually get pumped to review. Obviously I'm into like fitness, into like working out. So that's why I was so excited, but it has been super, super dope. What's actually really cool uh, within the app, you can kind of like personalize a bit more on how you want the resistance. And this is technically built on AI. I know that's like pretty buzzword-ish, but it uses sensors that are built in based on how you move. So it can identify, say like your stride patterns. And as you use it more, it'll adjust and kind of follow your movement patterns just a bit better and really tailor it for what you're using it for, which is dope. One really funny thing I noticed uh, as uh, this is kind of powering off and as I unclip everything, when you have it off, and your initial walk around after you've been using it feels like your legs are made out of lead. It's actually really funny because you rely so much on the extra assistance, it makes it feel like you've got like dead legs. So uh, just don't get too used to it. It's a really cool tool to use to just like explore more. Say you've got like a really heavy camera pack, you don't wanna like lug around 30, 40 pounds of extra luggage, you can use this to essentially do some of that heavy lifting. Obviously this can't be marketed as a tool to use for say someone that has mobility issues, but I think just as an exploratory device, as like the world's first exoskeleton that's actually usable. And it's like light enough that I can lug this around, whether it's in the box, whether I put it in the back of my car, whether I'm just holding it like this, super, super like lightweight. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed my little backstory of why I'm really into fitness. If you ever want to hear more about that, maybe I can elaborate uh, in a separate video, but um, I'll catch you guys in one of my next ones. Peace.